Yang Bang Jimmy Wang Yang Gang Gang Yin Yang Shao Long Hurray Wong. I can't believe I actually said that shit the first go. But when it comes down to it, we're talking about Yang today. When you first boot up Ruby, this is probably the character that you probably want to clap cheeks of the most. Probably the character that you out here would sacrifice literal water for if you get a taste of that Yangness. I ain't gonna hold you. When you first probably seen her and you're thinking, holy shit. This is a bimbo character with fat tits, blonde hair, and an attitude. I like it. And when it comes down to it, your brain was probably sounding like this. Well, uh, whatever the hell that was aside. Yeah, Yang was a perfect package, not gonna hold you. We ain't talking about anything past season 2, but when it comes down to it though, pretty sure a lot of people was happy and horny for Yang. And then they took her personality in the back of the house and then shot the hell out of it. And then, poor Yang, they did her so dirty after they cut off her arm, which is some nonsense. Now to be fair with you, I didn't really know too much about Yang and when it comes down to it, I didn't really care for her once I started to learn more of Ruby and then even before that, I kind of really, you know, didn't care for her. My eyes were on Blake and Blake alone, I ain't gonna hold you. And then they shot her in the back and then ruined her character as well. Wearing so much damn white, you would think she'd be part of the- also, who out here said that white and yellow actually go well together? Because I ain't gonna hold you, that just make it hard to see when y'all close as hell together. Screw calling them Bumblebee because Bumblebee should be black and yellow. This is nut and honey. Like, literally, what, what are we talking about here? Now, to be very honest, if anybody were to ask you, you know, what is the main thing of why people hate Yang so damn much now? It's because she's angry a lot more than she normally should be. And, and to me, it's not the actual power of her anger. It's just the snippiness that she just has now like hell the main thing is that she obviously act like she knows more than everybody else a lot of the time especially when you know she was trying to find ruby back in season four and then the whole previous time she was like i want to find my mom get answers like i'm a trace or something like that and when she actually finds her she's immediately like yo screw all this i'm just trying to find my sister where she at though the point of us even caring about your mom and you trying to find your answers? To be fair, all of the parents in Ruby kind of suck ass. Some are literally died and no one really gives a shit too much. Then you also have the fact that, again, Raven is not really doing much of anything, so screw her, I guess, outside of just wanting to clap. And then also at the same time, you got Weiss's parents. Her mom is literally a whole ass drunk and her dad was, well, well he's dead now, but he was an abuser as well, at least towards Weiss in some shape and form, kind of, but also at the same time, why are you freaking out in front of the party, people? You know, it's just, it's just, a, it's just a, it's a bunch of weirdness going on. The only person that has actual decent parents is Blake, and mainly her mom, because hot damn, we are burning houses down for that ass. But at the end of the day, Yang, it doesn't really matter how angry you get at people, how snippy you become, because at the end of the day, because people are gonna be here watching you clap your ass, or we clap your ass.